Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to take you through the steps on how to download and add mods to your Eternos server. So let's just get started. To be able to play modded Minecraft on Eternos, you got to download the mods on your computer and on the server. So I'm going to start with the server first. So I already have an Eternos server created here and to start adding mods to this we need to come down near the software tab and click on these two green arrows. And then now on this page you got to make a decision on whether you want to play mods with the fabric mod loader or the forge mod loader. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to select Forge because it's just more popular and there's more mods that work with it. And then from here, I'm going to select the most latest version of Forge, which is this 1.19.31 right here. And then from here, we just need to click on install to add it to our server. And now as you can see, there's this green check mark. Now by doing this, we created this new mods tab on the side here. So I'm going to go click on that. And now here we are, we can start actually adding the mods to our server. So on the front page here, we have some of the most popular mods added, such as Journey Map, Apple Skin, Bookshelf, and a bunch of others. And unfortunately, I don't think you're able to add any mod that you want on Eternos. It has to already be approved by them. So to see if Eternos has the mod you want, you got to use the search bar here and try and find it. But for this video, I'm going to add two mods to the server that I know Eternos already has. And the first one is going to be Journey Map right here. So to get started, I'm just going to click on it. And then from this page, you can select which version of Journey Map you want to add. So it's recommended to select any of these ones with the green checks on them. So I'm going to select this top newest one right here. And then as you can see, once I get that green check mark, it's been added to the server. Next thing we want to do is make sure we have the same mod downloaded on our computer. So I'm going to click on this top link right here. And then on this page, you want to scroll down. And on the right, you want to select the Minecraft version that you're playing on. So I'm on 1.19.3, so I'm going to select 1.19. And then on this page, we want to download the exact mod that we added to our server. So I added 5.9.3 slash forge. So we want to download this 5.9.3 slash forge one right here. And now to download it, just make sure you click on this black downward arrow. All right, so moving on, the next mod that I want to download onto our server is called Biomes O Plenty. And like it says in the name, it's a mod that adds a ton of new biomes. And as you can see, when I search for it, it shows up. So I'll click on it. Now I want to download this mod for this tutorial for two reasons. The first reason is to show you that you can download more than one mod on a server. And the second reason is as you can see on this mod there is this new required dependencies section. What that means is, is that I need to download this Terra Blender Forge mod along with the Biomes of Plenty mod for it to work properly. So before we download Biomes of Plenty I'm going to go download this Terra Blender Forge mod first. Again, like last time, I'm just going to download the newest version to the server. And then on this site here, I'm going to come to Minecraft 1.19.3. And I'm going to download the same mod as I have on the server. And now that we have Terra Blender downloaded, I can now go download Biomes of Plenty. So again, I'll download the newest version to the server. And then here, I'll download the same one to my computer. So yeah, there we go. We pretty much have the server set up. Next, I'm going to show you how to install Forge and how to add those mods we just downloaded to Minecraft. Alright, so now I'm on my desktop and as you can see, I got all the mods that we downloaded onto our server on my desktop here. And before we can add these mods to Minecraft, we have to go download and install Forge. So this is the website we download Forge from. I'll leave it as the first link in the description. And what we need to do is we need to go and download the version that our server is running. So if we come back to Eternos and go down to version, you can see we're running the version that has this 44.1.20 at the end. And if we come back to the Forge website, the latest one here is this 44.1.20. So we're going to download this one. To download it, we're going to click on Installer. And then this Add Focus website is going to come up. Do not click anything on this website and wait for a skip button to pop up in the corner. As you can see, here's this red skip button. We're going to click on that. And then now Forge will start downloading. All right, so once that Forge file finishes downloading, just bring it onto your desktop. And what we're going to do next is we're going to right click on that file, click on open with, and then click on Java platform SE binary. If you don't see this Java option pop up here, that means you need to go download Java 17. Here is the Java 17 download site. I'll also leave this down in the description. And to download this on Windows, what you need to do is make sure that Java 17 is selected here, then scroll down and click on Windows. And then you want to click on this blue download link next to the x64 installer. All right, so once you open up Forge with Java, you're going to have this little window pop up. Now, before you click OK on this page, you want to make sure that you have both Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher closed and that you've played the version of Minecraft you're modding at least once before. If you've done all those three things, you can click on OK. 
as you can see forge was successfully installed and now if you want to you can completely delete this forge file here with forge installed we can now go add these mods to our minecraft game files to do that we're going to type in run on our windows search bar and then in this little window that pops up you want to type percent app data percent then click on ok once we're here we can click on dot minecraft and then we want to open up this mods folder if you don't have this mods folder, you can just go ahead and create a folder and name it this. You want to make sure it's exactly spelled like this too. M-O-D-S all underscore. So let's open up this folder. And then all we need to do to add the mods to the game is just drag and drop all these into the folder. Now once I open up the Minecraft launcher, you can see Forge is automatically selected for me to play. If you don't see it here, you can just click on this and find it within your versions here. If for some reason you still don't see it here, you can click on installations. Make sure that this modded tick is clicked on in the corner here. And then you should see Forge here. Alright, so now I'm in Minecraft. And if I click on mods, you can see we have all those mods installed on Minecraft. And if we go click on multiplayer, you can see that our server is up. Alright, so I just loaded into the server here and it looks like everything is working correctly. So yeah, that's how to add mods to your Eternal server. If this video helped you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Have fun.